Okay, so first we'll go to Wireshark and open that up. And that's way down here under Network Traffic Analysis. So we ignore the fact it doesn't want to be root because we don't care in this instant. So you can see we get a little bit of traffic no matter what things looking at ARP, even though we haven't started doing the ARP poisoning yet. So we'll come over to one of our victims and run Telnet and log in as insecure. And as you can see, if we filter down there's nothing that has come up under insecure. So we'll go ahead and kill that connection and proceed to do arc poisoning. So the first thing we have to do since we're going to use arc poisoning is we have to allow forwarding that uses sysctl-wnet.ipv4 ip underscore forward equals one and that's only a temporary thing, you'd have to reset it every time. You can do it otherwise if you want to stay in permanently. Then you have to edit etc slash editor.conf. Oops, if you spell it right. And look for IP tables. You can see I've already uncommented these. Now we'll start editor cap with the graphical option allowed. It's with dash G. Start sniffing as unified sniffing on Ethernet 0, if that's the default interface. Then we'll scan for hosts. And normally we could come in here and look at the host list, but we will go straight to selecting targets. Actually, we'll go to straight to current targets because it's easier. So we'll add 192.168.0.161. One ninety two point one six eight point zero point one six one. Point zero point one six zero. Then we'll go to man in the middle, heart poisoning, tell it to sniff. Okay. And then we'll start sniffing. And in theory that should be giving us the connection, so let's make sure over here on the host it can connect. It can. You can see that telnet data has started coming up, so insecure works. All right, and here we are navigating around, and we can see what the person is doing as a sniff. Oh, look, we'll recover that. You can see they've opened up a file, and they're doing some editing. So then we'll come back and look at this session that they just had, and what we'll do is we'll right-click. And you can see if you look here, by the way, the things in block, the retransmissions, I believe, are where we're forwarding the data that we're getting from that client, forwarding it onto the server. Anyway, we'll follow the TCP stream. And you can see all the traffic going across it. See, here's where I had the issues with the swap file being open. And here you can basically see all the weird stuff that went on with them. You can see the actual listing of them, and here's, I think, where I was doing the edit editing. Here's where we're back to bash, and it sends back that it's written. So anyway, as it turns out, I had to set up a switched physical network to do this, rather than using VirtualBox. VirtualBox is unable to handle, or is unable to give you a switched network. It's entirely a hub, which doesn't work, because hubs don't require you to use art poisoning. Anyway, that does it for art poisoning.